The Jack Benny Program, presented by Lucky Strike. Friends, seeing is believing. And you can actually see for yourself why Lucky's taste better. Yes, you can see with your own eyes that Lucky's are made better to taste better. Watch closely now and listen carefully. On the surface, all cigarettes look alike. But you can uncover the important difference, an inside difference that proves Lucky's are made better to taste better. Take a Lucky and do this. Carefully remove the paper by tearing down the seam from end to end. Do the same thing with any other cigarette. Then compare. Some cigarettes are so loosely packed, they fall apart. Some cigarettes have air spaces in them, hot spots that smoke harsh and dry. Some cigarettes have too many broken shreds and small bits of tobacco, annoying loose ends that spoil the taste. Now look at the heart of your Lucky Strike. A perfect cylinder of fine, mild tobacco. LSMFT. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Long strands of fresh, clean, good-tasting tobacco made into a cigarette so round, so firm, so fully packed, you can actually see why Lucky's tastes so fresh and clean and smooth. Yes, friends, there's your proof that Lucky Strike is made to taste better. So for that smooth, fresh, clean taste of fine tobacco, you'll be happy. Go Lucky, get a carton of Luckies today. Be happy, go Lucky, go Lucky Strike today. Phone call for George Burns. Phone call for George Burns. Hello? What? Gracie is not there either? Well, keep trying. Oh, oh there you are, George. Have you found Gracie? No, Don, and I've looked everywhere. What are we going to do? Jack's program goes on in 10 minutes, and you and Gracie are supposed to be the guest stars today. Don, 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 we're going to have a show. I talked Jack into taking Gracie's place. Jack's going to dress up like a girl? Yeah, took a lot of arguing. <laughs> he, even, he even threatened to kill himself. Kill himself? Yeah. George, doesn't Gracie know she's supposed to be here? Hey, you better go out front and take a look. You know, Gracie, she can be standing in line with a ticket. <laughs> Benny's dressing room? It ain't Lily Sincere's. <laughs> Rochester, who are you talking to? One of the ushers has got a telegram here for you. Oh, thanks. Well, leave the telegram on the table. I'll read it later. Yes. Rochester, is the door open? No, but there's a button missing. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Now go find me another girdle. Yes. Who's there? Yeah, I'm from the makeup department. <laughs> well, are you my little quartet? <laughs> well, it's about time you got here. Well, I've been busy. There are other television shows, you know. So who are you working on? Gene Autry's horse. <laughs> what? He refused to go on without a poodle haircut. <laughs> Putting makeup on a horse. What a lousy joke. Yeah, I'm not joking. Well, then wash your hands and start on me. All right. Now, uh, first, hand me your little hook. Uh, no, I mean your hands. Well, then start on my face. All right, you? lean back in the chair a little. Well, Jack. How's everything? Oh, George, did you find Gracie? Not yet. George, I can't understand her. Gracie was here yesterday for rehearsal. She knew the show was on today. I mean, where in the world could she have gone? Jack, don't try to understand Gracie. She might be in Montreal by now. <laughs> in Montreal? Yeah, when she left the house this morning, she said she was going out to buy some Canadian bacon. <laughs> George, you mean Gracie thinks to get Canadian bacon, you have to go to Canada? I once told her I liked Philadelphia cream cheese, and I didn't see it for two weeks. <laughs> Holy smoke, what a woman. You know, where's that mask here? Oh, I'm so nervous already. What's that racket? Oh, they're plastering the new dressing rooms across the hall. Uh, say, George, there's a telegram on the table. Would you read it to me? Okay, Jack. Hey, it's from your sponsor. My sponsor? What did he say? Hey, dear Jack, arrived in Hollywood this morning. We'll come back to see you and discuss next year's contract. Oh, my goodness. Why did he have to come to town today and see me like this? It's embarrassing. What's so embarrassing about it? You were dressed as a woman in Charlie's aunt. Well, that's different. That was in one of my movies. Oh, yeah. Nobody saw it. <laughs> of course not. you finish my face yet? Oh, I knew this would happen. I've run out of makeup. If you don't worry, my assistant's going to bring me some more. Well, don't just stand there. Work on my eyelashes or something. I'm working. I'm working. Rochester, look out in the corridor and see if the man is coming with more makeup. Yes. I knew we had a big job, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Rochester, is my makeup coming? I thought so for a minute. Washington. Oh, yes, sir. I'm looking for Mr. Benny. I'm Mr. Lewis, Mr. Benny's sponsor. Oh, that's his dressing room in there. He's getting made up. Well, I won't bother him right now. I'll be back later. Yes, sir. Look, mister, have you got my eyelashes on yet? You're not quite. Well, what's taking so long? Well, the horse stood still. You keep moving. <laughs> Well, he's got a tail to keep the flies off. <laughs> now, hurry up, will you? The first thing you know... Oh, Jack. Time. Jack, we're almost on the air, and you haven't heard the quartet rehearse the commercial yet. But I haven't got time for that. Oh, this will only take a minute. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Well, down, look, All right, now, look, fellas. Are, are you ready? Oh, All right, now, look, fellas. Pick up the first part, and don't forget to retire the finish. Oh, huh? Jack, this is the time for the Take it, fellas. <laughs> Time, plane time, waltz time, small 
tasting, no loose ends to ever bother you. And Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Lucky Strike's the one you will like. Ask any old cowhand to name his favorite friend. That's the time you light a Lucky Strike. One o'clock. Two o'clock. What are three? It's always hell at Tim and Pete. Nine, ten. Any time you like, it's time to light a Lucky Strike. We present the guest stars on tonight's Lucky Strike program. Carnation's contented couple, George Burns and Gracie Belly. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Your hair looks pretty. Yeah, well, George, I just had it done at the at the beauty parlor, you know. And while I was there, I heard a, a very funny joke. Would you like to hear it? <laughs> We'd all love to hear it. It had everybody dying laughing. Well, let's you know. hear it. Let's well, hear it. one fellow said to the other fellow, if you don't think so, brother, then you ought to see my wife. <laughs> Is this the whole joke? Well, there was some stuff ahead of it that I didn't hear, but this is the line that had everybody dying laughing. <laughs> I don't think you ought to tell that. Too risque. Little huh? naughty, yes. <laughs> let's, uh, let's talk about your brother. That might be nice. My bro which brother should we talk about? The one who's married or the one who's in love? The one who's in love, the the tall one, the one with the scar on his neck. Oh, the oh, the appendicitis scar. <laughs> Look, appendicitis is on the stomach, you see. I know, but my brother Willie is ticklish, you see, and Up so there? yeah. <laughs> How is your brother, Willie? Willie? Oh, Willie broke his back, you know. I didn't know that. Broke his back, mm -hmm. yeah. On account of his left-handed. <laughs> broke it on account of his left-handed? You see, he had a donut in his right-hand pocket. You see, and when he went, reached to get it with his left hand... Broke he, his back? Yeah. <laughs> well, the next time he's got a donut in his right-hand pocket, tell him to try to take it out with his right hand. Well, that's hard to do when you got your pants on backwards. <laughs> had his pants on backwards? Mm -hmm. You see, he was wearing a suit. He had a suit with two pair of pants, and he had one pair on backwards and one pair on frontwards. Well, he could go either way. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's when the truck hit him. <laughs> the truck? Mm -hmm. What truck? The truck that didn't have its lights lit. Well, why didn't the truck have its lights lit? Because he had his pants hold on it, Hold it, hold it, <laughs> The man in the truck have his pants on backwards, or did your brother Willie have his pants on backwards? Oh, George, you're trying to confuse I'm me. I'm confusing you. Um. <laughs> Willie had his pants I on I know backwards. that, but the fella in the truck, why didn't he have his light slit? Because he didn't have to. It was in the daytime. <laughs> well, if it was daytime, didn't he see your brother coming? Oh, he didn't know it was my brother. <laughs> see, he saw, he just saw two pair of pants coming towards him, and, and he they just drove, drove right in. Yeah. <laughs> 
This, this family of yours, do you all live together? Well, there's my father, my uncle, my brother, my cousin, my nephew. They all sleep in one bed. I'm surprised your grandfather isn't sleeping with them. Oh, my grandfather used to sleep with them, but he died, so they made him get up. Uh, if you please, Professor. Oh, Sister Bessie here tonight, Grace? Oh, Bessie couldn't come today, you know, on account of the canary is hatching an ostrich egg. A canary is hatching an ostrich egg? Mm -hmm. But the, uh, you see, the canary is too small to cover the egg. So? So, Betty, uh, Bessie is sitting on the egg and holding the canary in her lap. <laughs> She's feeling fine. Only a few nights ago, she woke up in the middle of the night and let out the most awful scream you've ever heard. What happened? Well, when she woke up, she looked down, and both of her feet had turned black. What'd you do? We sent for a doctor. What'd the doctor do? He just took off her stockings, and we all went back to sleep. <laughs> Is she happily married? Oh, she's very happy. You know, she has eight sets of twins. Eight sets of twins. Yeah, you see, her husband used to, uh, used to make bookends for a living, and it affected their whole life. Music. <laughs> <laughs> We'd, uh, we'd love to do a little more, but we're not prepared. I am. <laughs> you see, on a, on a television if show... my brother you're, was you're, here, I could do something all by myself. Certain, but my brother isn't here, so I guess I'll have to do something all alone. My poor brother. And uh, we were told well, he that... He was held that, up the other uh, night that by that two men. Seven minutes. My poor brother was now, held up by two men. <laughs> two, two men. When they my brother. In television, my that, brother was held up by two men, you know. My poor brother, Two, we can tell it by two men. Two. Two men. Two men. Your brother. Two men held up my brother. Your brother. Uh-huh. He's held up. Uh-huh. By two men. Uh-huh. Where? All the way home. Which which brother is this? Oh, this is Harvey. Oh, the one with the high blood pressure. Yeah, the one that sleeps on the floor so it'll stay down. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Interesting fella, Harvey. Mm -hmm. You know, he's not in jail anymore. I'm glad know. to hear that. You know, that's because he's such a great artist, you know, he's a painter. And it, that's kept him out of jail? Uh-huh. You see, he painted a picture of an open window in his cell, I you see. And while the guards came in to close the window, he, he went out the, the door. door. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad. Harvey is not in jail anymore. Well, so is his wife, Rover. <laughs> Rover? He's got a wife named Rover? Mm-hmm. You see, when she was a little girl, she lived next door to us, and my mother told us that she thought it would be awfully nice if we called her Rover. <laughs> Music. 
music. Lucky's are made better to taste better. Some cigarettes are so loosely packed, they fall apart. Others have too many broken shreds and small bits of tobacco, annoying loose ends that spoil the taste. But what a difference you find when you remove the paper from a Lucky Strike. You see a perfect cylinder of fine, mild tobacco, LSMFT. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Long strands of fresh, clean, good-tasting tobacco made into a cigarette so round, so firm, so fully packed, you can actually see why Lucky's taste so fresh and clean and smooth. There's your proof that Lucky Strike is made to taste better. And remember, friends, you can prove that to yourself just as surely as you've seen it proved here. So be happy. Go, Lucky. Try a carton of Lucky's. You'll find Lucky's taste better. Be happy. Go, Lucky. 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 Go, Television. <laughs> it's the first.
first time I've done this since Charlie's aunt, you know. I, I can't understand how you can walk around, you women, in these shoes. I mean, where do you keep your money in here? I can't... <laughs> Of course, this thing I'm wearing inside, this, I will not discuss at all, you know. I really don't need a girdle, you know, just to hold my stockings up, that's all. <laughs> I've heard that somewhere. <laughs> anyway, Frank, ladies Frank, and gentlemen... Frank, the reason you didn't recognize Jack is because he wore ladies' clothes. I still can't believe it. Well, come on out and see for yourself. <laughs> Why, Gracie, certainly. Where were you all day? Well, I, I was the first one here. But I told the stagehand I was hungry, and he suggested I get a Denver sandwich. <laughs> oh, no. Look, Gracie, I... Wait a minute, George, wait a minute. Gracie, when you had the urge to get a Denver oh, sandwich, you mean you went no, all the way... Oh, no, no, no. of course not. The bus broke down in San Bernardino. <laughs> Uh, Gracie, I think you ought, you, you ought to apologize. Why? I had nothing to do with the bus break. No, no, down. no, no. no. <laughs> I, 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 th I th How about saying good night to Jack? Yeah, oh, good night, Jack. Good night, Gracie. Good night, George. Good night, Cholula. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be seeing you again in about six weeks. Exactly six weeks. I think I do my next television show on April 20th. Thanks, Lorraine. Right. Appearing on tonight's program are Frank Nelson, Pierre Watkin, and Bill Fletcher. The Jack Benny program is brought to you by Lucky Strike, product of the American Tobacco Company, America's leading manufacturer of cigarettes. Next week at this time, Lucky Strike will present This is Show Business. George Burns and Gracie Allen appear tonight through the courtesy of the Carnation Milk Company. This is yours truly, Don Wilson, saying, Be happy, go lucky. This is the CBS Television Network. <laughs> <laughs>